Hi and welcome back to my Phil and TV channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And yes, we've got a, a sequel today, which to a film that uh, many of you may have forgotten in the first place. But uh, <clears throat> yes, the uh, expectations are low for this, but we'll have a chat about it. We're going to look at uh, R.I.P.D. 2 Rise of the Damned. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. Do everything film and TV reviews, information, blogs, etc. It'd be great to have you on board. Spread the word, that'd be wonderful. I have to make an old film and TV watch very happy. If, you, if you're on YouTube yourself or Twitter, it's great to get likes and thumbs ups, isn't it? So just, just hit that thumbs up before you have a listen to what I think about this interest. Well, I was going to say an interesting film. I think that's pushing it, pushing it just a little bit. Right, let's get on with it. RIPD2 Rise of the Damned. 102 minutes, a 12 certificate. Action, comedy, fantasy, western. Yes, the, the original wasn't a western, that's for sure. And this has gone straight to the old formidable, typical straight to video release. This, uh, in the old days, we used to call it straight to the video shop, but now straight to stream and, of course, and straight to uh, the store to buy it if you want to buy it, which uh, let me know if you are. I'd be very interested if you do. And this is available from the 15th of November to buy and on various streaming sites so it's brand new so I don't have many critics reviews I have my own little thoughts and a couple of scores from the original and a couple of comparisons to make so at least with no box office release at least at least it can't bomb there can it like the original did uh, directed by Paul Aid and this one screenplay co-written by him and Andrew Klein and it's based of course on the popular series as the first one was of uh, the comic books uh, so obviously far more popular than what we're getting on film in 2013 the original RIPD starred of course Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds uh, Rotten Tomatoes 3.7 out of 10 internet movie database 5.6 out of 10 so that wasn't too bad actually the public actually likes it a little bit more than the critics so it did find a little bit of a niche not enough to save it unfortunately and what's this version about? What's this sequel about? Well, it's set in the American West of 1876. This Rise of the Damned is a spiritual, pardon the pun, their words not mine, sequel to 2013's RIPD. Good guy Sheriff Roy Pulsifer isn't too thrilled about finding himself dead, dead after a shootout with a notorious outlaw gang. Yeah, they're sort of they're possessed by devils and modern demons themselves but he does get a second chance to return to earth after being recruited by the RIPD and if you've forgotten that means rest in peace department very clever one of the cleverest things about the original but avenging his own murder may have to take that seat to save the world when a gateway to hell is opened in the old mining town of Red Creek threatening not only the locals but all of us in humanity itself this stars two main leads. We don't have any big top names. We, we do have a couple of actors who do the best to, to make the most of what they're given. We've got Jeffrey Donovan and Penelope Mitchell as the leads in this. And my thoughts on this, as I said, there's a, I've seen a couple of other people's uh, reviews and scores, etc. But I can't mark this. I can't mark. I can't give it a five hour sense. So I can't give it any mark whatsoever. Um, I did, didn't particularly enjoy the first one. I didn't particularly enjoy this one. Uh, after that first one became a box office failure, I was I was a little surprised. Well, not not totally surprised because obviously if you keep the costs low and produce something, I mean there was an interesting idea with that first one. It just didn't quite work. Just just didn't quite come over in the film, did it? So this much cheaper made sequel wasn't such a surprise, I suppose, because the I say that original idea wasn't too bad and the comic books were successful. So it's it's already got people who are interested and they might have forgotten what happened nine years ago and be willing to give it another chance. So costs were kept to the minimum both with the stars and special effects. Though so, uh, in the film later in the film the effects aren't too bad, aren't too they do do improve later, but they're all very short and sharp. Not 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 many big long long drawn out scenes of action in the in this film, that's for sure. In defence of Donovan and Mitchell, they do their best, of course they do, but uh, uh, as with the first movie and the stars in that, they're let down by a pretty god-awful script. As for the comedy element, which is key, can always rescue a film if it makes you laugh, makes you smile. Uh, I'm sorry, it's comedy to forget in this one. It's not It's not even in the that it's that bad, it's funny category. It doesn't, doesn't even score on that rating. So if you keep your expectations very low, then you still might be disappointed, unfortunately, with the RIPD two. And I certainly was. I was looking. I was hoping to like it. I was. I was really keen on liking it, and I just didn't. It's a, again, a synopsis. It doesn't sound too bad on paper, but unfortunately, someone's wrote a script that doesn't doesn't make 
isn't funny, isn't interesting, and it's a little bit boring. So RIPD2 is now available to buy or stream uh, if you wish. Uh, obviously, you want to buy it. I have no prices, so I have no idea how much they're ripping you off for this one. But RIPD2 Rise of the Damned is a sequel to a movie nobody really uh, wanted or liked at the time. And sadly, like its expensive predecessor, this will be soon forgotten. Thanks for watching, guys. Please let me know your thoughts. Whatever you do, you rest your day. Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Bye for now.